Hey everybody, it's Laura Ellen Christian with Educate, and I am so excited to be here with Courtney Sanchez, who is with the Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Association of IRC, which is in Vero Beach, Florida. And Courtney is joining us today to share about the success that she and her organization had during the pandemic with using our Dementia Lab program. So Courtney, thank you so much for being here and I'll let you share with everybody. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity and thank you for having me today. Um, as with everyone, when the COVID pandemic hit and everything had to kind of be shut down, we had to totally do a 360 and cre recreate our programs all virtually. Um, we've been part of the Educate family for many years and we love all the programs so much, especially Dementia Live. And we actually put hundreds of people through the dementia experience every single year. So we knew this was such a great component that we had to do virtually. And I remember speaking with um, our, my fellow coworkers and saying, you know, I wish there was a way we could do this virtually. And sure enough, that's when you guys came out with, hey, there's a way of doing it virtually. <laughs> so it worked out fantastic. So um, me and two other employees, we actually attended the training together um, on how to conduct that through the PowerPoint presentation. And we immediately fell in love and knew that many people could benefit from this. And so since all that happened, and even though we are reopened now for in-person Dementia Live, we are still conducting the virtual dementia experience and we've put hundreds through virtually. And what we have found besides the, the ease factor, the convenience of it, not only for us, but also people on the other side of the of the Zoom platform is that they are able to get more of their employees, um, more of their family members together to be able to experience this wonderful program that you guys offer. Um, many will live out of state, so different family members will live out of state so they can all join the same class. Um, many agencies have different caregivers that are all over the county, um, some even outside of the county, so that now they can all come to the same place in time and take benefit of it also. And one of the main things we were we found, one of the main concerns we had was, is it going to have the same effect as the in-person? I think that was everybody's big question at the beginning. And from what we have found, yes, it does. Even though you don't have the actual headphones and glasses and gloves that we would normally use in the in-person program, it has the same effect because of the way you all structured it has been ingenious. Um, the sound being embedded into the PowerPoint makes it easy for us. The script that you guys have provided for us, um, when we first did it in the training, we found, oh my gosh, I can't even keep up. You know, I This is actually worse than the in-person. <laughs> Which is good because we see the same behaviors that they administer, the same perspective, the same feelings that they feel afterward, which really helps them see and understand what their loved one with dementia is going through. And that's really the all purpose, whether it's in person or virtual, it doesn't matter as long as they get what the point of the program is. And that's that perspective of understanding what they're going through and how hard it is this experience for them. So we are, we are very, very appreciative to Educate for be, us being able to offer this virtually. Um, we are gonna continue to offer the virtual as well as the in-person in years to come. Um, we know, you know COVID isn't you know, letting up per se, so it's good to have this option in our back pocket and also be able to offer it to different organizations so that they can pick and choose what's most convenient for them and their staff. Mm -hmm. That is so great, Courtney. I, I really appreciate you sharing this. and. You know, I think during the pandemic, everyone was trying to think about, you know, how do we still support um, people in the aging services industry? And, you know, there are a lot of things that that were not um, great about the pandemic that we had to endure, but there's so many silver linings, just like you have shared today of, of how people got creative and, um, and were able to produce things that we can still use even coming out of the pandemic, which hopefully will be soon. Um, so I love how you were sharing that, you know, the virtual platform of, of Dementia Live was really allowed you to connect with families that were out of state, bring people together as families to experience something where maybe before where we didn't have this resource, you weren't doing that. So you're really being able to 
to um, broaden your reach, if you will, not just in Vero Beach, Florida, exactly. but out, you know, across across a lot of different other states and, and regions. So that's so great to hear. And I, I love hearing that you're going to continue to use the virtual platform. Um, so it's not something that's, you know, just relevant because we were in a pandemic, but it's something that's come out that you can continue to use, like you said, for years to come, just to give people options, which we all exactly. agree, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know you had some pictures to share. I think that's always so nice. So why don't you bring those up and, and folks can kind of see how you did this. Yeah, so this is actually our education coordinator, Susan, who's been such a huge part of this also. So she's in charge of the Dementia Live um, program. Um, her and I and our executive director all do this together. And so she loved the idea too. Her and I you know, loved that we went virtual. We were talking about going virtual even before the pandemic hit. So the virtual platform of Dementia Live, we just, we absolutely embraced from the very beginning. And so this is just an example of kind of what our setup is is we usually use two computers, one to screen share the PowerPoint presentation and then one for video and audio. And we're really able to connect with those who are taking part in the program. It's seamless for us because, you know, we get to have everything right here at our desk, at our disposal, and while we're able to reach this large group. And, um, and so her and I have absolutely loved it. And it's been just such a great experience. And we appreciate all that you guys have done to get, enable us to do all this so much. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And um, like I said, it's just great that we can continue to, to extend our reach um, to really support the aging service industry, everyone who, um, who is connected into that. So that's families, care partners, um, everybody, all of the um, industry partners and um, everyone that, that works so hard um, to improve quality of life for our seniors, which is our mission, right? We, we exactly, love to yeah. partner with people like you, Courtney, and your organization where we sit, we share the same mission to ignite change. And now you can do that in a much broader way, right? With the virtual exactly. um, components of Dementia Live. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and, and sharing your story of light. I know as we share it out with folks around um, it'll bring some um, inspiration and encouragement for others. So we appreciate that. Thank you. We appreciate you too. Okay.